हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मिताली फ्रॉम आईआईटी गुवाहाटी वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री पोर्टल इन टुडेस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व इंपॉर्टेंट पीवाईक्यू फ्रॉम जेई एडवांस 2023 ऑन थर्मोडायनेमिक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन गिवन दैट एंट्रोपी वर्सेस टेंपरेचर प्लॉट मींस एंट्रोपी वर्सेस टेंपरेचर प्लॉट एंड फेज अल्फा एंड बीटा एट 1 बार प्रेशर इज गिवन सो मीन्स इट इज फेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन रिएक्शन ना एल्फा चेंजिंग टू बीटा सो एस टी एंड एस नोट आर एंट्रोपीज ऑफ फेज फेजेस एट टेम्परेचर टी एंड जीरो कैलविन रेस्पेक्टिवली सो दिस ग्राफ इज गिवन इट इज एंट्रोपी वर्सेज टेम्परेचर ग्राफ द ट्रांजिशन टेम्परेचर फॉर एल्फा टू बीटा फेज चेंज इज सिक्स हंड्रेड सो एंड Given is C P beta minus C P alpha is one joule per mole per Kelvin. Assume C B C P beta minus C P alpha is independent of temperature in range of two hundred to seven hundred Kelvin. So means in this temperature range, C P beta minus C P alpha value will be one only. And Cp alpha and Cp beta is heat capacity of alpha beta phases respectively. The entropy of phase change S beta minus S alpha at 300 Kelvin is. So means we have to calculate entropy change at 300 Kelvin. So we know formula of. So first we will solve 14th question, then 15th question. Okay. So. Entropy formula we know D S equal to D Q by D T. Okay, but we want full change now. So for full change we will do integration. Integration of D S is equal to integration of D Q by T. D Q by T. And this we have to integrate. They go in question they have given value at six hundred. But we have to find for three hundred, so we'll integrate from three hundred to six hundred because we know value for six hundred and we have to calculate for three hundred. So it will be from three uh, hundred Kelvin to six hundred Kelvin, and uh, this also will be from three hundred to six hundred. And pressure is constant. Pressure is constant. That is your one bar. Pressure constant means Q P. Q P we can write C P D T because heat exchange at constant pressure is C P D T, na. So it will become delta S, delta S at six hundred minus delta S at three hundred will be equal to. Three hundred to six hundred integration, and CP we uh, DQ we can write CP DT. CP DT divided by T, and CP value we can uh, CP for phase transformation alpha to beta we can write CP beta minus CP alpha. So delta S. Six hundred minus delta S three hundred three hundred to six hundred CP for phase trans transformation we can write CP beta CP beta minus CP alpha DT divided by T. Divided by T, okay. So, and C P beta minus C P alpha value given one, and uh, at six hundred entropy change at six hundred. This entropy change at six hundred is entropy value for alpha is five and for beta is six at six hundred Kelvin. So change of entropy will be six minus five one na. Entropy change at six hundred. Will be six minus five one. 
so at 600 entropy changes 1 minus at 300 we have to calculate and cp beta minus cp alpha value given 1 and integration of 1 by t dt will be ln t so 1 into ln t from t2 by t1 means t2 by t1 and uh, limit uh, is given 300 to 600 so it will become 600 divided by 300 ln 600 divided by 300 so we can write uh, this ln ln2 value is 0 0.69 so 300 and ln2 so ln2 value is 0 0.69 so 1 minus delta s 300 0 0.69 so delta s value will be 1 minus 0 0.69 so entropy change at 300 we got 0 0.31 joule per kelvin per mole ok so the, for this answer is 0 0.31 ok now next question the enthalpy change delta h beta minus h alpha in joule Per mole at 300 we have to calculate. Okay. So now next. Hmm. So you know that and enthalpy change is heat exchange at constant pressure. Na? So enthalpy change formula is NCPDT. Okay. So we can write. And according to NCPDT we can write delta H at 600 minus delta H at 300 we can write and for phase transformation we can write cp beta minus cp alpha cp beta minus cp alpha into delta t ok so delta h 600 minus delta h 300 n value is 1 and CP beta minus CP alpha CP beta CP beta minus CP alpha Delta T is 600 minus 300 no? and we know Delta G is equal to delta h minus delta h minus t delta s ok but we know for phase transformation if alpha changing to beta so there will be equilibrium for equilibrium delta g value will be 0 for equilibrium this value will be 0 na so we can write delta h is equal to t delta s so temperature we have to find for uh, 600 na so 600 because uh, for uh, 600 value they have given in graph na for uh, 600 kelvin they have given change in entropy change in entropy at 600 delta s will be 5 uh, 6 minus 5 na at 600 at 600 entropy changes 6 minus 5 so 1 so delta s value will be 1 so it will be delta s will at 600 it will be 6 minus 5 so delta h value at 600 we got 600 joule per mole ok now again use this equation now again use this equation delta h 600 minus delta h 300 1 into cp beta 
minus CPL for in 2, 3 and in, in, in question they have given CP beta minus CP alpha value is 1. Okay. And delta is 600 we got 600 and we have to find for 300 now. So all uh, except delta is 300 we got all values. Okay. So we can find delta H at uh, 300 now. So delta H at 300 we got 300 joule per mole so this is your final answer okay so all the best for your J preparation so if you want uh, more videos on PYQ of J advance so please like share and subscribe our channel